Hi guys, Steph here. Right, what have we got for you today? I'll tell you exactly what we've got for you to, well, some of you will recognise it by looking at the clip. What we've got is an absolutely gorgeous, handsome Conway Stewart fountain pen. This particular model is the Conway Stewart number 55. Now, the number 55 Conway Stewart brought them out around about the night, well, sort of mid 1940s and the 55 were actually one of the if you like top of the range within the Conway Stewart fountain pen range of that particular period so it's a very nice handsome gorgeous pen you can see it comes in this gorgeous rose and black marbling color with gold filled trim now these these pens they brought them out in lots of different colors um, for you people that watch my videos on a regular basis will know that I've actually shown you this pen in a couple of other colors one being a blue one and one being a green one so what I'll do at the end of the video I'll leave you a link to the green one you can go and have a look at that one if you wish but what we've got for you here is this mauve or this rose and black marbling color now some people will who watch my videos you'll notice this is from one of my recent pen hauls I've just finished restoring it and coincidentally um, while I was restoring it a customer of mine sent in a couple of pens and coincidentally he sent me his Conway Stewart 55 in black so there you go so it's exactly the same pen the difference being is the one on the right being in black and the one on the left being rose and black marbling so this one again a beautiful handsome classic black Conway Stewart 55 again it's a customer's so it'll be on its way back to him very soon so there's the black color so let's pop that to one side and let's concentrate on this this pen as we said repeating um, rose and black marbling it comes with gold filled or gold plated trim you can see the very clear standard Conway Stewart lever with the Conway Stewart logo to the end of the lever some very light pit into the lever but nothing to worry about still in beautiful condition I've actually just finished as I say restoring it we've put a new sack in it etc you can see the cap bands there you'll notice the middle cap band is slightly wider than the than the two outer bands and then if we take you up to the clip you can see there's a sideways view the very recognizable Conway Stewart diamond clip and to the very top of the clip the Conway Stewart logo if we take you to the very top of the cap you can see it's got this slightly peaked black um, stud to the top of the cap and that complements the end of the barrel there being a flat ended black well barrel end so all in all absolutely stunning let's take you to the <coughs> excuse me to the barrel imprint you'll see it says the Conway Stewart and then if we spin it round slightly underneath you'll see it says number 55 let's give you a slightly different angle for you so there we have the Conway Stewart underneath number 55 and this pen was made in England how do we know well if we take you to the bottom of the barrel if I just look over the camera and make sure I've got it there you'll see it says made in England around the barrel so a beautiful pen made in England in mid 1940s beautiful handsome pen let's unscrew the cap for you let's give you a couple of the customary twirls to show you hopefully all the different angles of the pen as you can see it's in stunning condition and this one 
obviously will be looking for a new home somebody will have a gorgeous pen to use for many years to come let's take you up to the section slightly sort of well yeah slightly tapered section slightly on the small side although it's small it's still a lovely comfortable pen to hold size wise it's not the smallest it's not the largest it's well it is slightly on the larger size i would say um incidentally one thing i've not told you the size of it from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel it's a nice 131 millimeters capped around the barrel it's a lovely chunky 12 millimeters in diameter so as you can see not a small pen not an oversized pen but a very nice size i've got large hands and it fits nice and comfortable in my hand so let's take you up to the the nib let's keep it nice and still for you people that don't know what you've got on this nib or this pen because it's actually one of the top of the range pens um, of the period it's got what we term as a Joro nib so it's a Joro Conway Stewart 14 karat gold nib let's give you a sideways view let's show you the feed underneath the feed is quite a plain feed very recognizable within sort of the Conway Stewart pens as you can see everything is nice and clean as it should be pardon sorry what are you saying <laughs> yes and no can we see it writing right let's bring on some ink we dip the nib in the ink pull on the lever and there we go I can see over the camera lots of bubbling I hope you could hear this sort of the gurgling noise which is precisely what we like to hear let's bring on our trusted pad and as always it's the first time it's been tested so let's see how the pen writes so what we've got for you is a Conway Conway Stewart this one being a number 55 as we said made in little old England and we're dating the pen from the mid 1940s it's writing nicely as you'd expect from this particular nib I would say it's writing with a fine line and as you can see there some slight variation in the line if we apply a little bit of pressure on the downward stroke so there we go let's show you there's a writing sample a lovely writer as you would expect from this Joro nib slight well it's not a flex nib as such but with a little bit of pressure we can achieve sorry achieve a little bit of line variation so let's keep it at that and there we have it let's find a very nice home for this very nice pen so I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment below have you subscribed if not why not please subscribe and if you possibly can please support my work but for now i'll just say bye bye for now